not forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon for daily updates. Hello friends, welcome to Express Current Affairs. I have launched a giveaway for available subscribers. Amazon free gift cards will be given to two lucky winners. We will announce the first winner on coming Tuesday. Do participate in the giveaway. It doesn't even take one minute to follow the complete five given instructions. Now let us see the important topics covered from today's Hindu newspaper along with the important questions that might appear in coming exams. If anybody needs the PDF link of yesterday's video, you can download it in today's description box. Let's start. What is the branch of political science which deals with the study and scientific analysis of elections? Cephology, spectroscopy, petrology or speleology? The answer is A. Cephology, very important term currently in use across India. The study and scientific analysis of elections is known as cephology. On December 11th, the results of elections that took place in five states will be announced. Now, according to the exit polls conducted by the famous cephologist, the results are as follows. Now, what is the exit poll? The poll of the voters taken immediately after they have exited the polling stations. Now, exit poll says in Rajasthan, the Congress would clean sweep. In Telangana, the TRS might take the lead. In Madhya Pradesh, the BJP and Congress have a close fight. In Chhattisgarh, there's a possibility of hung. A hung is a situation in which no political party will have overall majority. Now, in Mizoram, the Mizoram National Front has a slight edge over Congress. Let's see if exit polls are correct on December 11th. Which country filmmaker received the Lifetime Achievement Award at International Film Festival of Kerala? Israel, China, Iran or Pakistan? The answer is C. Iran. Chief Minister of Kerala, Pinaraya Vijayan, had inaugurated the 23rd edition of International Film Festival of Kerala. Now, Iranian filmmaker Majid Majidi received the Lifetime Achievement Award. Where are the headquarters of Red Cross? Paris, New York, Geneva or Rome? The answer is C. Geneva. Very important. You need to know all the headquarters of all international organizations. The International Red Cross and Red Crescent Movement was founded to protect human life and health and to ensure respect for all human beings and to prevent and alleviate human suffering. Now, Indian Red Cross Society of Srikakulam had created a family atmosphere by establishing an orphanage and senior citizens' home in the same premises. Now, senior citizens treat these kids as their own grandchildren. They share stories and epics to these kids in the evening and the kids play with the senior citizens and they share their ideas and discuss with them what happened in the school. So entire family atmosphere was recreated which brought smiles on the faces of kids and senior citizens. So very good initiative and good idea by Red Cross. Who is the president of the PETA, Ingrid Newkirk, Henry Dunant, Anthony Lake or Kirk Patrick? The answer is A. Ingrid Newkirk is the president of the PETA. Now, PETA is the People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, which is the largest animal rights organization in the world. They operate on the simple rule that animals are not asked to eat, wear, experiment on or use for the entertainment. PETA headquarters are in Norfolk of Virginia, United States, founded on March 1980. Now, the present president, Ingrid Newkirk, was in Mumbai. She wears a fish costume during a demonstration to raise awareness of veganism in Mumbai. What is the full form of Bt in Bt cotton, a genetically modified pest resistant plant cotton variety? Bacillus thuringiensis, Bacillus treponema, bacteria resistant therapy or bacteria thuringiensis? The answer is A. Bacillus thuringiensis known as Bt, a cotton variety. Now, M. S. Swaminathan calls the genetically modified crops as a failure in India. 
as BT Cotton has failed to provide livelihood security for farmers. Now, BT Cotton occupies the greater than 95% of India's cotton acreage. Yields have stagnated at around 500 kg per hectare, which is lower than yields in China and Egypt. Remember, M. S. Swaminathan is considered as father of green revolution in India, very important. And father of green revolution across the world is said to be Norman Ernest Borlaug. Remember these two points and remember the BT full form as Bacillus thuringiensis, which is the first country set to offer the free public transport. Germany, Belarus, Hungary or Luxembourg? The answer is D. Luxembourg is the first country set to offer the free public transport by the beginning of 2020 onwards. Luxembourg is a small European country surrounded by Belgium, France and Germany. It has almost around 5,60,000 people in the country. It is a very small country with big traffic jams. The Prime Minister of Luxembourg is Xavier Bettel, who was sworn in recently, had promised to provide free mass transit. Now, Luxembourg had already has the highest number of cars in the country with almost 662 cars per thousand people, which is closest to the United States of America which is a world leader with more than 800 cars per thousand people. So very good initiative by the country Luxembourg, which offers a free public transport. Who is appointed as a new chief economic advisor? Krishnamurti Subramanian, Aravind Subramanian, Raghuram Rajan or Aravind Virmani? The answer is A. Krishnamurti Subramanian. The Modi government has appointed the Hyderabad-based Indian School of Business professor Krishnamurti Subramanian as its new economic advisor. Now he had been graduated from IIT Kanpur, B.Tech in Electrical Engineering, MBA in Finance from IIM Calcutta and PhD from University of Chicago. Now the chief economic advisor is an economic advisor to the government of India. And CEA is under direct charge of Minister of Finance. What is the term coined for an overhead kick in football, also known as bicycle kick? Chilina, toe kick, back heel or instep kick? The answer is A. Chilina. You need to know all the important kicks used in the football. Very important the terminology. Now Chilina is an overhead kick in football. It is very difficult to execute. It is also known as a bicycle kick. Now you can see the right side of the picture. The Cristiano Ronaldo kicks the ball while doing a backflip, twisting his body in mid-hair as he falls down. Now the name comes from the country Chile and Argentina which is believed to be the birthplace of this skill. So remember Chilina kick is also known as a bicycle kick. Let us see the question for the day. Armed Forces Flag Day is celebrated every year on which day? December 6th, December 7th, December 8th or December 9th? Do mention your answers in the comment section. The answer for yesterday's question was Gautam Gambi, rightly answered by few people like Akash, Malle, Shweta, Mohamed Ali, Pooja, Harshraj. Thank you all for following and do participate in the giveaway. Let us see the quote for the day. If you are not willing to learn, no one can help you. But if you are determined to learn, no one can stop you. So always be determined in whatever you do. This is it for today. Have a happy weekend. See you tomorrow. Thank you all for watching. Please do not forget to like, share and subscribe.